Greetings, everybody. Get out your King James Bible. Turn to Jeremiah chapter 40, uh, 45. And this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. This is going to be a really short chapter. And in case you haven't noticed, Jeremiah, like the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation, are not in any chronological order. Some events are present, some are past, some are future. Uh, and uh, I guess they're that way because the Lord wanted them that way. So let's read Jeremiah chapter 45, verse 1. The word that Jeremiah the prophet spake unto Baruch, the son of Neriah, when he had written these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah, in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, unto thee, O Baruch, Thou didst say, Woe is me now, for the Lord hath added grief to my sorrow. I fainted in my sighing, and I find no rest. Thus shalt thou say unto him, The Lord saith thus, Behold, that which I have built will I break down. And what did the Lord build? Jerusalem. That which I have built will I break down. And that which I have planted, I will pluck up even this whole land. What did he plant? He planted Judah in the land. Now he's going to pluck it up. Verse 5. And seekest thou great things for thyself? Seek them not. For behold, I will bring evil upon all flesh, saith the Lord. But thy life will I give unto thee for a prey in all places, whither thou goest. So, do you seek great things for yourself? Lord says, seek them not. The Lord's going to bring evil upon all flesh. In a way, I guess, uh, you know, hunger, thirst, pain, did not even Christ suffer all those things when he was in the flesh? Yeah, think about it. But he says, saith the Lord, but thy life will I give unto thee for a prey in all the places whither thou goest. So, it seems the Lord had kept the Jeremiah alive in peace wherever he'd went. So, all right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen.